Oh, then it probably didn't work. Oh my gosh, I can see it. There's Carl Sagan right there. He said, was I ignored? Apparently you were ignored. I have no idea how. Yeah, I know. I just, I just messaged him on Discord. Secretly, I've been plotting against the Overwatch games, failing ever so slowly to make it seem like I didn't ignore you this whole time. What up? Well, it's, it's fixed now. Thank you. That's good. I had no, I, I didn't know I could ignore people. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> My plan has been foiled. No, un taking you out of ignore mode was just phase two. Why am I big, Mario? Note to self, don't piss off, Mitch. It wasn't my fault. I swear. But that's not the main focus of my stream. It's the world records and smiles. Yes, it's... Phase two is complete. <laughs> Make my man. World record in all 2D games at 2,000 subs confirmed. Oh my gosh, not true. Don't listen to him. Ooh, that was risky biscuits. How am I flying to the right but facing left and right? Mysteries. Mysteries. Right on, man. Right on. Yeah, I need to update that page. That's right. Tonight's going to be update night. I'm ahead on, like, YouTube and stuff. So tonight... Tonight, I'll have time to edit my banners. Change some stuff around. Some commands. I think for a hundred percent, excuse me, sorry guys. I think for a hundred percent, I'm gonna do world, world, all the world's mini games, cause the time is so, so much bigger, right? I'm in every world longer. It makes it harder, but I'll see. Why did the devs make Raccoon and Tanuki so much slower? I'm not sure. I think the hammer suit is the most fun item in this game, and I don't know why they took it out in other Mario's. Friggity frig, friggity frig. Bacon, bock, and bacon, bock, and bacon, bacon, bock, and bock, and bacon. Right, Eve? Yeah. Don't be guffing me. They took it out because Mario. Yeah, Hammer Suit's just way too much fun. It, like, come on, man. Look at what it does. And Mario looks so cool in it. It was such a big mystery when I was a kid, too. I didn't know if it was even real or not. Like, did I dream of it? It's, like, so hard to find. It's actually extremely easy to find. It's in the Mushroom House in World 6. You get it every time. I 
As a kid, though, I didn't know if this the statue was a real thing or not either. Free the weird world. Free it. Eve. It's my cat's name, Eve. She's just staring at me. Those death, the death grip eyes. Give me treats. You recently just found your original? Dope. That's good. The original manual for SMB3. It's so colorful and exciting. Now most most games manuals are like advise your doctor for gameplay. Like you have to like make sure your doctor permits you to play the game. But it's good now, it's good. Ah, uh, no, there's no category for that frog suit. That would be ridiculous, though. The fir the earliest you get the frog suit is the first mushroom house in this world. Or no, sorry, the secret mushroom house in this world. My bad. That is the... F you're guaranteed a frog suit in the secret mushroom house in this world. Behind the rock. You'll see it when I go there. It always gives you a frog suit. And then the first mushroom house in World 3 always gives you a frog suit as well. But no, that's... That's a strange category. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, that was too close to that chain chomps. The chain chisel. Just got the triple. You sub for the NES giveaway. That's right. You get in the raffle. 500 bits, a subscription, you know, whatever. Good luck tonight. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Did you beep, 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 beep? Bicked it a bicking. Schmicking, nicking, nicking. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Ah! Tight squeeze, man. Tight squeeze. WTM001 with a subscription of Prime. Thank you. Oh, no. I just lost. That's a weird write-up for World 8. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You came for no wrong warp? Don't worry, it'll be here. Yeah, this mushroom house will for sure give me a uh, frog suit. Yeah, the chest won't appear until the fireballs go off the screen, so I kind of have to like wait for them. Wee! This level is always stressful. Side jump, duck jump, duck jump. Almost touched that boomerang. That guy screws me over. Missed him, but I wanted to kill him. Super stressful. Half of what I wanted to do in this level didn't didn't even work. There's only one crucial thing though, that's the side jump. Yo, Joey Hyper, what's up, man? Uh, 100% is a lot less stressful, yes. Yeah, you missed the world record. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know his pattern. Ah. Shmi! Ah, oh, come on.
You have one one down now? Nice. Yo, Jack, what's up? It felt different at the beginning? Why? That's strange. Wee. Yeah, for anyone who does not play Mario 3, I'm holding a competition ROM hack. Uh, it's for beginners, people who don't speedrun Mario 3. Um, it starts April 1st and goes through all through April, and the person to do it the fastest gets uh, $100. No professional Mario 3 speedrunner or extremely good Mario 3 speedrunner is allowed to enter the competition. So it's fair game for everyone. If you don't speedrun Mario 3, I'd recommend you play it because it's a good way to get into speedrunning. With a nice incentive. Can you do multiple submissions? I mean... I'd rather you wait until you... You know, you do what you feel is the best. Right? But you guys have all the month of April to learn as many speed strats, to do as many runs as you can. You can stream it if you want, but then you're just showing people how you're speedrunning it. So if you work really hard to learn a speed strat, what ROM hack is it? It's a Mario 3 ROM. All you need is like an emulator or, you know, any of that stuff. Speedrunning Super Mario World does not count because the game is very different from Mario 3. I'll get back to the SMB3 seminars when I have time. It sucks that I don't have time right now. I also don't have like a YouTube editor or anything, so... On top of streaming every day. Just, I just need time, that's all. Just time, that's it. Yeah, as, yeah, as long as you've never done speedruns of Mario 3, you're good to enter. So yeah, as long as you've never really done much Mario 3, you're, you're alright. Recommendations for emulators? Um, if you're not used to speedrunning it, regardless, I feel like you're going to feel input delay no matter what, if you're not playing on your CRT. If you have a power pack or EverDrive, then yeah, play on your TV. You won't feel any input delay. You'll have rigid controller. But you have choices of like... Uh, F-C-E-U-X, which I'm probably going to have a command of that. That's that's a good emulator um, that you can use. Um, and uh, Nestopia is another good emulator that you could use if you want. But it's better that I don't really talk about emulators all that much. They're not, like, the most righteous thing to be using. So I would just search it up for yourself and uh, investigate a couple things here and there. Um, probably, like, it'll probably be released... Uh, the second week of April. Uh, a submission form so you could submit and p put your email and put a link to your video so that only I can see it. If your video needs to be a Dropbox link, that's fine as well. But because this competition has a hundred smackaroos on the line, you don't want other people to see the hard work you put in. You want the hundred bucks. Why wouldn't you? Ah, uh, no, not yet. I haven't got it yet. Whee! Guys, don't worry. It's, it doesn't matter. Who cares about the emulator ROM hack? Legal, not legal. It's a lame conversation anyways. Just ignore it. According to my state. Beep, 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 beep. Like, don't worry about it, man. Who cares? In the state of who gives a fuck, it's illegal to blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. The next time you stream, I might want to swing by. Is that so, Mr. Game J? 
Is that so, Mr. Game J? Uh, I also have a P.O. Box, so honestly, if recording DVD and or, like, VHS, I know VHS, right? If that's your only option, you can send me it. Not me, Knucklehead? Well, maybe I want to anyways, Game J. You ever think about that? Huh? My big and bark. Nice band, dude. Nice band. So many. Che There's nothing left in my mouth to chew on. I'm just over exaggerating my ability to chew. You exclusively exclusively record on Laserdisc. Can you put that Laserdisc anywhere to upload it to YouTube to send me a link whenever you submit your world record run? Whoever's got the fastest time will have the world record in my ROM hack. Um, that lets that people can ask questions about the competition. I can answer them. Yo, OG Leaf with the subscription to Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family, you frig. Ah, uh, no. The amount of people who were extremely generous whenever I got the world record in 90% warpless was a lot more than $100. Don't spend money on recording gear to get a- You don't need to actually really spend money. OBS is free. If you have- uh, Getting an emulator is free too. I'm assuming you already have a keyboard. And if you don't, then- Oh, $30. I don't know. You can get a controller adapter for probably less, actually. Does somebody have a video link to what? The world record? Let's go to YouTube and type in Mitch Fowler. It'll be on my channel. You friggin' frig. Uh, there's no warp whistles in the ROM hack. No. Yeah, the hundred dollars is to in entice and to for incentive. My main goal of the ROM hack is to get more people involved in speedrunning. Most speed games right now are like, I don't want to speedrun Zelda 1, they're so good, I won't ever make an impact, you know, that happens, people do think that. But, the ROM hack I'm making is Mario 3, so you get to play Mario 3, and no one's ever done speedruns of it before, including all the best players, like no one's touched it before, it's all brand new. It's like your own world with Mario 3, without anyone else there to, like, ruin it. It's all fresh strats. Everything's fresh and new. And it's important because I'll be making it and I'll be judging it. And the top four winners will be showcased. The top four people, right? First, second, third, and fourth. Will be showcased in a race-like race, race -like, uh, style on my YouTube. And I get to watch some of them on my stream. So people will get a little bit of exposure here and there. Why not, man? It's always good, right? Yeah, and I, and yeah, and I made the hack. Little Mitch, little MFP things all over the place there. There's no hands in the ROM hack. There's no hands in the ROM hack, no. But if you don't sign up, you can't participate.
<laughs> you expose yourself on a daily basis, of course. That's what I'll be doing, Jami. That's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be having a four-way race pretty much on my on my YouTube page so people can like see. And then maybe more people will play the ROM hack, right? My first ROM hack competition uh, early last year, um, people still competed in, in it for at least a solid six or seven months after the competition was over. That one was only a $50 win. This one's a hundred bucks. Hundred smackaroos, man. How to sign up? Go to my Discord. Type in exclamation Discord. Go to my Discord. Uh, on the left-hand side of my Discord, there'll be a sign-up section for the ROM hack. Canadian dollars or USD? USD. Who won that one? I can't remember. That one wasn't as legitimate as this one, but that one was still pretty cool. Where do you sign up for this ROM hack competition again? My Discord. Type an exclamation social or exclamation Discord, either or. It'll take you to the same place. Go to my Discord, you fill in the sign up sheet, and you're in. And then on April 1st, the ROM hack will be in the ROM hack section of Discord. But if you don't sign up, sure, you can play the ROM hack. Well, I don't know. I figured it out. But April 1st, you'll get the ROM hack. It'll be there. Just stay in tune with the Discord. It'll be there. Let me take a look at something first. I knew he was gonna jump too, that little frig. Is it okay if you don't have PayPal right now? Yeah, that's okay. You can still sign up. Unless it's required to have a PayPal so I can pay you. But if you don't have PayPal, you have a couple days to set up for a PayPal. As long as you have a bank account, you can have PayPal. <laughs> if somebody's partaking in the competition and you don't have a bank account, there's no way I could even pay you anyways. I'm not gonna mail you cash. Where do I save the three and a half minutes? Uh, a lot of time to be saved is in World 7. The form doesn't have an email address to send the ROM to. Your Most people's PayPal email is the same as their actual email. So, I mean, whatever PayPal email you use, I mean, it's still an email address that you can go and check for mail. As long as I make it aware to everyone that the ROM that I'm sending you is through their email. You can sign up for PayPal without a bank account. Maybe you can have PayPal as your bank account. Regardless, that, that's all the more reason, yeah. If you don't have PayPal, sign up for it. Then you'll have a PayPal of 100 bucks. Then you can start subbing to Twitch channels and stuff like that. Boom, baby. Isn't that awesome? Uh, I agree, Trogdizzle. Like, literally, sign up. If you don't have PayPal, make a PayPal. You need an email to make a PayPal. I'll send it to your email. You get the ROM. That's it. I don't know what else to do. If the Hammer Brother moves down, I'll do the Fortress first. Hundred bucks would be serious. That's right. And you have a month. My my first ROM hack competition. Everyone only had one week. That's it. One week. That's a pretty short amount of time. But I would encourage everyone to download the to sign up for the ROM hack competition. All right, Hammer Brother. Why not? 
win 100 bucks and you get to learn how to speedrun Mario 3. And it's all brand new. Why did he have to shoot? Ugh. Since I don't have PayPal, if I win, it'd be cool with giving the winnings to second place. I mean, that works. If, if that's what you choose to do, then sure. I mean, in the long run of everything, if somebody doesn't have PayPal, I can figure out a way to get you the money. It's not a big deal, guys. Just enter, have fun, try and win, boom, done. We'll worry about the other stuff at the end. Right? No big deal. I just want you guys to have a good time. I want you to learn how to speedrun, get involved. Join the movement, you know? What if somebody finds a wrong warp? Uh, nobody's gonna find a wrong warp. All you need is PayPal with an email address, I'm pretty sure. Where to sign up? Type in exclamation discord. Join my discord and there's a sign up section. It's perfect if you've never done speedruns of Mario 3 before. And you win money, 100 bucks. And if you win, you're showcased on my YouTube as well. Advertisement. I will know the winner before you guys do. You've never attempted SMB3, and this is this is a free SMB3. It's never been touched. There's no actual routing or anything. That's to be discovered by you guys, not me. I've never routed it or anything. I've tested it for speedrun strats, sure, but I, I haven't done any speedruns of it at all. Yo, Kashmir. Kaloon, maybe. Thank you for that tier one, man. I really appreciate that. Where do you sign up? Uh, my Discord. Type an exclamation social. Looking forward to participate. Nice, dude. Yeah, man. Everyone's welcome, man. Yeah, come on in. It'll be a good time. You don't have PayPal, nor do I want one. I can find a way to get you money. Don't worry. Oh, Venmo. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, the competition starts in a couple days. Do you guys want a sneak preview of what the world looks like? Just what the world looks like. I'm not going to do any le levels. I should release it tonight. Why? I'm telling everyone April 1st and getting every giving people time to sign up. Why would I do that? Your retro pie would be fine for running it. As long as your retro pie runs at 59.9 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If it runs any faster or if you can tamper with it, I will not accept it. Because I won't know if you're cheating or not. And you ruin all the fun, too, altogether. If you want to tacit or anything, you can do that after the competition, for sure. Yo, good night, Fico. Have a good sleep. It's not an April Fool's joke. I would never do that. That's stupid. The ROM hack took me approximately three days to make. Ah, 
I already beat it. I need that hundo today. Frig you, you friggin' frig. Play the hell out of this. Thank you. Not, ex not expecting to win. Well, the, it's for beginners, right? So there is no known intense competition for the ROM hack. No, none of you know how good any of you are. So, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with going in, you know, hoping to win because like everyone else is inexperienced with you. Right? But I understand, yeah. Enter to have some fun, right? Why not? You already know you're awesome. Well, friggy then. You guys, you you done, Hammer Brothers? What's the skill level of the this ROM hack? Beginners. I'd be surprised if any of you died. What the heck? Stop it, Hammer Brothers. It's so stupid. Putting them to sleep just in case, right? J-I-C. J-I-C, 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 J-I-C. But you can't ask me for any strat tips because I don't know any of the strats. I designed the I designed a bunch of levels to be done in the speedrun sense, but also at the same time, I didn't design the levels for speedrunning. And that's how you do it, right? So it's up to you guys, not me. You can't. I don't know anything about it, so you can't ask me. Nor would I even tell you if I did. Why would I tell you? They're not super expert level designs. Yes, after this run, I will show you guys what the first world looks like. The Discord link in the MFP bot should not be expired. My mods would never give it. What? How did I get P speed, dude? I just did the duck fist. I just did the duck fist. Can someone clip that P speed right there and me saying I did the duck fist? He needs to see that. He's gonna laugh so hard. I just did the duck fist in that. What? You guys think this is like the hardest level, but only in randomizer. The best emulator to use? Uh, I liked Nestopia. I like that one a lot, but you can use FCUX. Or Nestopia, it doesn't matter. It's just freeze the game, right? Ah, oh, I should've used the star, yeah. It's okay, it gives me a mushroom right here. Mushroom power! Whee! Dude, I have so many items. Yo, thank you, Grand Keys. 
Grand Keys, you should enter the tournament. The SMB3 ROM hack competition. Win a hundred bucks, dude. Everyone is on the same same playing field. It's to help pe encourage people to speedrun and to play more mo more Mario Three. You're gonna win it, nice man. Yeah, you get an entire month, which is good. My last competition was one week. It's designed for beginners. It's not difficult. Is there any Kaizo in it? No, there's no Kaizo. There's no Kaizo in, in many, most speedrun games. Yeah, if you want to enter it, just type in exclamation Discord or social. Just join the Discord and enter it via submission form. You'll get the ROM hack on the 1st of April. Uh-oh. This is no good. Oh yeah, the ROM hack's already done. No, or it took me three days to make. The competition starts on April and ends at the end of April and the person with the fastest time not only gets showcased on my YouTube in a race-like format, but also gets, um, gets a little bit of exposure too. It'll be the top four people will be in a race-like format on uh, YouTube. And I'll stream it, obviously. I'll stream the winners. My love for speedrunning. Damn right, man. It's fun stuff. It's too much fun. Dang it. I did it correctly here, but I frigged up. Yeah, I'm trying to get Orator to enter the competition too. He says, he says maybe. He's so... He loves the speedrunning levels in Mario Maker, but he's so scared of speedrunning. But he'll probably enter it and play it. Give it a try. Uh, I don't have a charity lined up, so if you donate the money to charity, that'll be on your own will. But yeah, you can totally do that if you want. It's your money, not mine. The winner of the competition, it's their money, not mine. You do whatever you want with it. I don't give a crap. Aura would be great to watch. Yeah, I'd love to have Aura in the competition. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've never seen Orator speedrun a single game, and I don't think he's ever done any speedruns. Also... An experienced Mario Maker player is not an experienced Mario 3 player. Massive difference. 100% complete difference. If there are, they're discovered by you, not by me. Not a bad pattern. Is it easier than vanilla SMB3? Yes. But... As you start speedrunning it, it's going to be get it's gonna get harder for you. The game, it's not hard, not difficult. You could easily do it without dying. All of you. Easily. But once you start having more demand of yourself for levels, once you find strats, once you start speedrunning, that's the whole progression of it, right? Do I already have a time? No, I've never touched it. I created it, I made I made certain levels specifically in certain ways. I did stuff here and there, left and right. But it's all up to you guys. I have no time in it. It's all up to you guys. Oh, these strats. Killing me. 
This, the ROM hack's not long, guys. It's not like an hour long. It's not like six worlds or anything. It's nothing like that. Not even close. Oh, too far to the left. You guess you'll give it a try? Why not, man? 100 bucks. On the line. Oh, I'm still muted. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know I was muted. Somebody said I can't listen to you. I was like, all right. Well, I mean, I know my voice is kind of shitty, but ouch. What did I say? Ah, it was probably something unimportant. No, don't, you don't have to worry about playing any previous Mario 3 at all. You don't have to learn Warpless or 100%. Unless you're talking about speedrunning this game. Which in that case... Lots of people like to do any percent no wrong warp to start with. And like 100%. But Warpless is very fun, right? Because you get to go fast and skip a bunch of stuff. So yeah, probably Warpless is pretty good. That was me. Do I need the world record splits? Ah, uh, maybe. Back in my mix. Yo, what up, Asmer? Why am I a frig? What did I do? Big, big, in box, big, 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 bark. This is why you don't have to do the clips. That was amazing. 281, see? But that was because of P-Speed. Did I forget it's 100%? Uh, do you know how the 100% rate right works?
You can use clouds in 100%? Of course. Yeah, I can use clouds in 100%. I'm not skipping anything. I'm using them to manage my items better, right? Normally, you use a P-Wing in the Fortress and in 7-6, but I used one in 7-6 and kept the tail for the Fortress so I, didn't, I could save a P-Wing. That's right, I'm not even gonna try. I'll worry about it after. Just made it. It seems so much more complicated. Yeah, I was just teasing you guys. That hammer throw. Lost a lot of time in World 6, though. You're gonna have a bad time. What? Are you kidding me, dude? He sat there like a fucking moron. God dang it, man. Like, he's just rubbing up against the wall with this stupid wand. Like, I figured he would have at least jumped after that much time has gone by. Like, come on. You just realized that's a slothy boat. You thought it was a very weird pharaoh? What a frigger. Yeah. Well, I can still get fire flower, so it's no big deal. Backwards, yay, time save. No, that was a leaf, Steve. Am I one minute ahead of world record? No. Why no mushroom houses? You can't do one full run of the game and get all the mushroom houses. So we decided, it, like, if you can't do it, like, don't add it in, right? You can't successfully finish all the mushroom houses. Oh, I got a no hand right there. Because I entered the level, that means I got, I didn't get pulled in by the hand. The hand, you guys saw it, the hand didn't grab me. So, so far, so far I've skipped the first hand. Oh, I got the middle hand. To get pulled in by the hand is slower, right? It takes time for the hand to pull you in. I thought it'd be pretty funny if you couldn't actually enter the hand levels on your own. So in 100%, you would have to get pulled in by the hand. So you'd have to keep going back and forth. Ooh, I got two hands. Technically, you want no hands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
There's so much time in between each hand, though. Oh, you're excited for the sneak peek of the ROM hack? I'm only going to show you what the first world looks like. Yo, Phoenix, welcome back for two months in a row, man. One more month and you got your upgrade, man. Thank you. Welcome back to the family. Yay. When I showed you last night, no, there's this in multiple worlds. There's only one world, but you ruin that for everyone by asking. Way to go. <laughs> Speaking of the ROM hack, does it matter if I speed run Hotel Mario on CDI? No, no, not at all. So I have, I have stars left in this world, so that's good. Oh, I hit my face on the side. World record pace? No. This is like getting back into Mario 3 100%. I don't even know my menus, and I've missed like four fire kills on the bosses. But this will still be a pretty good time. I might secure a 111, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, no 111. A very low 112, though. going to be a very low 112. I'm su I'm close to my PB too. This is insane. I'd have to say well done, Mitch. Well done. Two times. And on. Bickin, 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 bockin, bickin, bickin, bork. Bick, bickin, bick, bok. Bockin, bickin, bok. Thank you guys for the GGs. Let's see if I still have this thing up here for you guys. Okay. This is what World 1 looks like. This is what World 1 of the ROM hack looks like. Can I shave off two minutes? I can shave off two minutes, yeah. <laughs> the skulls. 
Let's see one one. 